good morning all you beautiful people. This is a video update on the video you seen last night on the Postal Service. So I want you to understand my videos are usually a week ahead. So what you seen yesterday was actually last week. But I want to give you an update. This is real time. This is Saturday. Hi everybody! I'm getting ready to go to the food truck to meet all of you wonderful people. But I really want to get on here and I just want to clarify some things and just give you an update. So, why did I make that video? Well, I made that video for the principle of it all. Yes, I did not know about media mail. I learned a lesson. I know all about media mail now. But the second thing that really upset me was, and when I say upset me, I wasn't mad. I'm a little bit dramatic. That's how I am in my life. So I wasn't upset as far as mad, but the principle of it all, I couldn't understand why they kept giving different amounts that were charged this beautiful subscriber of mine. By the way, she did contact me. She said it was clearly her fault. She had no idea. See. She made the box and she pre-sent it. So in other words, she didn't see a postmaster or anything. She printed out the label from what I understand. She printed out the label and didn't realize about media mail. All that is good. All that is legal and just. They were just to open it up to find out that that wasn't media mail. But what they were not right in was the overcharging. And so they kept telling different charges. They kept writing it down, different charges. One thing, she should have had a set charge. She should have known right away what was owed to her. Two, she paid the $14. I wasn't supposed to pay that. When I got to the postal department, they said, you owe $14, you have to pay it. They said, you can't reject the package, you gotta pay it. Well, of course I was gonna pay it because a beautiful subscriber gave it to me. But she had paid everything in full. They didn't tell me that. And so that $14 actually should come back to me. Will I get it? I'm not sure. I am going to file a complaint, and she is as well. But I made the video, so I am making it up with having the video. But I wanted to share with all of you guys. My channel is I share different things that happen in my life. And the reason why I was sharing all of this was just to ask all of you, because that is what it's for. Yes, I could have Googled the address. Yes, I could have Googled everything. But I wanted to get you involved and I wanted you to share with me your point of view and you did. So all of you basically told me, hey, media mail now is media mail. But a lot of you learned that lesson today as well. So a lot of you understand it now and when you go to send media mail, you know it. You know you can't send anything other than a media mail. So that was a lesson learned and I think that's really great. I'm glad that I made the video. And also the overcharging and how they kept writing it down. That really wasn't uh, professional at all. They were supposed to know exactly what she owed. If they would have waited and they seen what was in it, they would know right off the bat what was charged. Not keep giving up different amounts and that she had to go and keep paying. And then ultimately I had to pay, which they said is unheard of. That you just don't do. So. Now I know she paid the $14. I was trying to get a hold of her and couldn't before, but now I know she paid my $14 that I paid. And you know, it's the principle of it all. And it was a way for me to make a video and just share with you something else I'm learning. Hey, I'm the first one to tell you, look everyone, I'm the first one to tell you that I don't know much about things on the outside world. And that's why I went and asked all of you. So I do want to apologize and tell you, yes, you were right about the media mail. Yes, I was right about being overcharged. So in the long run, it's a win-win situation because my video made a big point about media mail, taught a lot of people who didn't know like me what media mail was all about. Plus, it was able to get you guys involved in helping me learn. And that's all what this video is about. And that's all that yesterday's video is about. And I thank you guys so much for understanding. I'm not editing this video. It's going right up because I want to upload it right away. Because a few people just totally misunderstood and just totally didn't understand what I was saying. You know, not every video I make, everyone's going to like. You know, think about it. I make 365 videos a year. Sometimes I'm gonna make a video not everybody's gonna like. Sometimes I make a video a lot of people don't like, but then some people really need it. And I feel like I don't regret making my video yesterday because I really feel like it was a lesson learned for all of us. It was a teaching moment for me and for many people who like me were very naive and really didn't know. 
Also, I want to tell you that the woman who sent it, it was a complete and honest mistake that she paid for. She says she takes full responsibility. You know, she didn't understand as well. So, hey, let's just have a good time and let's just remember that in life, we all make mistakes and we all learn from them. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, wait, I'll see you tonight because I'm going to have a fun day. I get to meet a whole bunch of you guys, and we'll see what the food truck has. And I can't wait to share with you this coming week. I got another job, but it's a free one because I'm doing volunteer work now. I'm a busy girl these days. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.